Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another 2v2, and this one will be on Tarsonis Assault, and it will be the same teams as last game, so this will be game number two. I assume that this happened, that this game took place right after the previous game, as uh, TQ State's trash talking has already begun. He will be the red Protoss here in the top left side, and Legend will be the blue zerg again and this time we have protech taking the terran duty he will be the teal uh terran i i just uh <laughs> yeah never mind vitamin will be playing zerg this time and he will be the purple zerg uh looks like we'll be going for an 11 spawning pool as he did just cancel his extractor and is now hoarding uh minerals so, and at the same time, Legend already has his spawning pool, so Legend going for a 10 pool, and Vitamin will be going for the 11 pool. And so, uh, they'll have about the same timing. 11 pool, uh, I kind of am more of a fan of the 11 pool. After being, uh, after, uh, talking with Garrett a couple weeks ago, just, um, bugging Garrett about some Zerg, uh, build orders and stuff, um, I've been experimenting a little bit with the 11 pools, on the team games and they are pretty effective you can getting that extra one more extra drone out really does add up when you're trying to pump a ton of zerglings and tq state apparently is going to foregate and he is also going to scout with his probe and he's doing a slightly less trash talking uh this round i guess uh he knows and all the players know that this time it's serious because protec was not a happy camper after last game and understandably so as him and vitamin seemingly had the game in the bag and just tq state and legend just pulled the victory completely out of their ass like where did it come from i don't i do not know and most of the work done by tq state obviously because legend's base was overrun for quite a while there and tq state with some clutch 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 warp ins and stalker micro uh, was able to take that game. So this game should be very, very exciting as the tension level is very high, <laughs> as I just mentioned. So Zerglings are on the field now and running are all over the place, uh, sort of patrolling here. Looks like Legend a little bit defensive with his Zerglings and Vitamin setting up his Zerglings in a line here. Um, I guess was trying to catch some uh, streaming Zerglings off guard from Legend and get a uh, few extra hits with a cheap surround there. And um, so yeah, a little uh, pretty standard stuff right now with Zergling dancing back and forth. Um, it looks like Legend's uh, metabolic boost will be slightly ahead and um, ahead of Vitamin's uh, Zergling speed. So at the same time, Protec is going straight for Starport. So I'm very surprised right now. It looks like he is going to be going 1-1-1. One, 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 um, and he is going to be getting Hellions. So it uh, looks like what Protec is probably going to do here. Now, I don't know. I shouldn't say anything because here is a tech lab. He's probably going to get some Banshees as well. So um, if he can make this work, I'll be very impressed because I would have expected Protec to go with more of a Marauder style build against uh, the Protoss player TQ State. But he does have a couple of Hellions in the back here to, to work on these Zerglings from Legend. And as long as Vitamin can keep these Hellions protected, they will win this engagement. But forced to fall back because Legend has a far superior number of Zerglings right there. And now Protec's Hellions are on the run. Looks like those two Hellions will be able to get away, but very, very low on life. And these two Hellions, if they're not careful, will get caught by these units. Tiki State throwing down his standard proxy pylon, and his four gate is complete. So more and more reinforcements will be on the way. Probably a bunch of stalkers, a couple of zealots, whatever he can get. And four, uh, four Hellions, five Hellions on the field for Protect, doing a lot of damage to, to Legend Zerglings here. A lot of Zerglings are dying, and it looks like this one stalker is going to go down. But those Hellions not very efficient when it comes to fighting stalkers as you can see protect doing all he can now he's forced to try and fight the stalkers because the stalkers are chasing him and legend and tq state pressing the advantage already now vitamin trying to get an expansion and that could be trouble because that hatchery is really exposed right now and tq state is going to run his stalkers right up into the protect's base and all he has is a bunch of hellions he's trying 
to get some barracks down so he can get some marauders just like Vitamin was trying to do last game except it's already going to be probably too late. These Hellions have no shot against all these talkers so the SCVs are coming off the line. Mules are coming off the line and mules can't even fight. So that is a very bad sign and the stalkers are going to be forced to pull out to to pull out there. Sorry, sometimes I need to just slow down and stop talking so much because I'm just totally like mispronouncing everything. You know, it's usually a bad sign. I'm all right at it though, you know. Legend giving the flute game. Um, so I believe that would be Legend talking trash because I think Protech said that last game was a uh, was a fluke game because it was shared map and I know because Protech hates because uh, <laughs> Protech hates um, uh, that last map high orbit but he likes this map so um, wow leaving the game no GG's um, and Vitamin and Protech have left the game Vitamin's base is completely overrun with Zealots and Zerglings and so pretty much the same thing as last time Tiki State sends his Stalkers to contain the Terran and meanwhile, he sends his Zealots and the Zerg player, in this case Legend, sends his Zerglings into the Zerg base. And that seems to be quite effective. So, um, we have seen the Hellion uh, Banshee strategy fail twice against the Zerg Protoss uh, team. So, uh, another game sent to me by Legend. Thank you, man. It was a pleasure to cast. A lot of fun casting these two games. And I have lots and lots more games from Legend that I will be getting to uh, pretty soon. So thank you guys for uh, watching. This is Irie Starcraft, and peace out.